Being a full-time content creator, I really wanted a space that I could feel comfortable in and work in. One that represents who I am as a stylist and that also pays homage to what I love, style and fashion. I wanted a space that was glamorous and feminine without being girly, one that is aesthetically pleasing, a space that allows me multiple places to shoot content and where I could pay respect to the tools of my trade. Welcome to my dressing room tour. Hello, my name is Aralia and I am so happy that you have dropped in today. So today we're going to be talking about my dressing room. This room is primarily where I do all of my work. I'm in here about eight to ten hours a day and about a year ago I wanted to take this room and make it into something that I could call my own, that I could really embrace and feel comfortable working in but that would also allow me plenty of room to shoot content in a lot of different surfaces where i can work uh, to shoot product shots as well as outfits and things like that i took this room and i have completely transformed it the room is going to be ever evolving and as it stands today it is not 100 percent complete i would say it is about 95 percent of phase one is complete that's okay i think that that's enough for me to give you a tour because i know i've been talking about it and i know that my regular viewers have been seeing this room change over the last probably two or three months when i started building the pack system behind me that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The house that we live in is not the forever home and I wanted a closet system that was going to be modular and also inexpensive because ultimately when I do move into the forever home, I'm going to have like the dressing room of like ultimate dreams for now this is actually quite beautiful and quite good and i am very very happy with what i have i went with the ikea pack system because it offered me the opportunity to customize the closet the way that i wanted to and also serves as a jumping off point to do even more to it to make it a little bit more custom it was very very easy to design what i wanted my wardrobe to look like on the ikea website i had to assemble it piecemeal because of course Ikea like everyone else is suffering from a lot of supply chain issues so I had to buy what I could at once and then I brought in more but actually that worked to my benefit because I, you know, I was able to take a look at it and determine you know what this original design that I have is not really going to to serve what I want it to serve that was awesome that I had the opportunity to sit back and take a look at it and make sure that it was something that I really really wanted so I redesigned it and and then have executed on that redesign here. Overall, the IKEA pack system was it was easy, but it was hard to, to install. It's not very complicated to build the pieces. They're, the instructions are very, very straightforward. What made it hard was the fact that I had to do it all by myself. And so what I have behind me are two narrow units and a wide unit, and that took a lot of time for me to do on my own. And I made some mistakes along the way. It was still, not hard but hard but you know i have to say that i really do like the fact that the ikea pack system does allow me to customize it because even if i want to change the drawer configuration the shelf configuration any of that it makes it super easy to do that so that was you know one of the nice things about going with the pack system i didn't want to bring in a custom closet maker because like i said this isn't the forever home i didn't want to put that kind of expense into it it just gave me an opportunity to achieve what i needed to achieve on a budget. The IKEA pack system, just that base unit, um, what I installed with all of the drawers and everything has come out to a little bit under $900, which I think is a great deal um, considering that if I were to have somebody to come in and do this custom, it was going to, you know, it would be in the few thousands on up. So this dressing room helps me to see everything that I have. I don't have all of my clothes in, in this room. I actually have a majority of my clothes in my walk-in closet in the primary uh, suite. I have gone more to doing capsule wardrobes seasonally. What I'm gonna have in this wardrobe is going to be whatever that 
capsule wardrobe is. I also have the space for anything that's new in that I bring here to the channel in the form of hauls and whatnot. It's a subset of my current wardrobe, but it's the subset that I am currently wearing that I want to be able to see so that I know what I have. Beforehand, I used to have to put it on a rack and run back and forth between my walk-in closet and this room. Now I've got everything that I need right here, even on a day-to-day -day basis when I shoot my outfits of the day. Everything is here. I have gotten pretty good at changing out my capsule. If I don't change it out seasonally, I will change it out monthly. Whatever cadence I feel the need to do, but whatever it is that I want to wear at the time being is here in this closet so that I can see it and use it and show it and show you guys what I'm wearing and how I'm styling and all of that. So it really does a great job at accommodating what I do for a living. It really does give me the opportunity to do it the best that I can without having to run back and forth and forgetting what I have in my closet. I also really, really love the fact that I've got really great jewelry and shoe display because again, I get to see what I have and I get to pick it out every single day without having Having to go back and forth. Same thing for shoes. I, for, I was forgetting the shoes that I had and what I wanted to wear. It's also helping to inform uh, what I need to purge from my closet. I think that that's the best of all worlds right there and I'm super super happy about that. The big mirror that I've got in this room was actually the very first piece that I brought into this room to work as part of my job because it allowed me the opportunity to take really good mirror selfies. I've got a really aesthetic piece of furnishing or decor in this room that really set the tone for everything else that was going to come into the room. The mirror is from Anthropology. It is the, they call it the peacock mirror and I have it in the vertigras finish and I could not be happier with this mirror. It is very, very wide. It is very, very tall, very, very heavy. And it's just, it just looks really, really luxurious. I mean, there is something to be said about the Anthropology mirrors that you can't find in other places. However, there are less expensive alternatives if you do want a big standing mirror like this, which is something that I always recommend that you do is you get yourself a mirror so that you can see yourself from head to toe. It's just a very valuable tool to have. And especially for someone like me, that's a stylist and content creator, it was absolutely critical that I get something like that. And I really, really wanted to make the investment in something really good because this was going to be a piece of furniture that if, even if I were weren't a content creator, I could put it in my bedroom or I could put it in another room in the house and it would serve as a really lovely piece of decor that was an investment. So that was the first thing that I got for the room. One of the other key components is in the IKEA pack system and that is that coveted glass shelf that everybody that gets the IKEA pack system wants because it really does deliver on the aesthetic. It really does help to make the pack system a little, look a little more elevated, a little more high end. And I really love the fact that I can see what is displayed underneath it. It also has provided a really beautiful surface for display. When I designed the IKEA pack system, I had initially designed it with that middle section being long hanging and with the shoes closer to the bottom. But when I assembled it and realized, you know what, I don't need all that much hanging space. I can just use the two narrow units for hanging. Then I decided, okay, I need to get the glass shelf and I need to put that up as display. So I reconfigured it and put, made it what it is now. You can buy the pullout tray drawer with all of the uh, components, the storage components for jewelry and such in there, but I didn't like the configuration that they had. So what I opted to do was I bought the pullout tray and then I bought two of the jewelry storage uh, pieces. And then at some point in the future, I'm going to get something that can hold my earrings because I don't necessarily like having all of my earrings on the ring section. It just feels messy to me. And I want to have dedicated little boxes or spots for all of my earrings because I have a lot of earrings. And so 
I do want them uh, displayed that way. But for the time being, in that middle section, what I've got in there are my belts. They're not going to live there forever. So the shoe trays were another key component in this system. I opted just to keep them flat, not to put the inserts where the shoes are kind of like stored at an angle. There's just something for me that does that doesn't jive with what I have envisioned for this wardrobe. So instead, I've just got them on these pull-out trays down at the bottom. They each hold 10 pairs of shoes. And so that gives me ample shoe choices for all of the work that I do. I love the convenience of being able to pull out the drawer and see what I've got. The only thing is, is that these drawers collect hair like I've never seen before. Between the cats and myself, there's so much hair on those. I've got to dust them once a week. I mean, if I don't dust them once a week, I worry that they're going to start to meow and purr because it just gets so, so fuzzy. And so I I do have to make it a point of getting in there and dusting and cleaning those every week. But honestly, it's just maintenance on something that I love. And so it doesn't bother me in the least. It actually is meditative and therapeutic. Just be forewarned if you are interested in the pack system and you do configure it with some trays at the bottom, you're going to have to dust them if you've got pets or if you're, you know, dropping a lot of hair. Um, it just, you know, that's just the nature of things. And it is what it is. The shelves that I have are there for display. True story, I am only putting bags up there that match with the wallpaper backing that I have in the units. I know, I know. I've got some red bags and some yellow bags that just don't jive and so I've got them in a different spot. <laughs> For now, I have got all of my nude and black bags, anything metallic or anything that's in gray um, because I want it to match the wallpaper. I don't want it to clash. Everything that goes here has to match the backing of the wallpaper, that backing that I decided to put on it, but I'm okay with it because it just jibes very, very well and, and it just fits the overall aesthetic. The small drawers that I have here are actually intended to hold anything that I don't hang. I don't like hanging my sweaters because you end up with those little bumps on uh, the shoulders and my sweater dress is the same, not to mention the fact that it stretches them out. One of the things that I've discovered in all of this is that I have a lot of sweaters and so I do need to do a big sweater declutter because I don't wear them all. I think that having those small drawers uh, and that in the intent of those drawers um, is being fulfilled. I do have my my bras, my shapewear, some tights in one of the drawers as well because since I do a lot of changing in this room I need to have easy access to those because the top might require a strapless bra or maybe I need to put my shaper on or whatever so I've got those stored in here as well. So for the actual configuration of the wardrobe as I mentioned I got two narrow units and a wide unit. Uh, the two narrow units have got two short bars. One of them is a short hanging space. So for all of my blazers, my button down shirts and any other tops, plus my scarves are in there as well, hanging and ready for me to grab hold of. The other narrow unit is the long hanging section where I've got my pants because I do not fold my pants over a, a hanger. I just can't. I don't like for my pants to be creased and that causes creasing uh, my steamer and I are not in a good place as far as our relationship is concerned. And so I don't want to have to steam if I don't have to. My skirts as well are hung in there and my dresses. I have a lot of dresses and that is why I opted to have one section be just dedicated to long. Once spring and summer get here, I tend to wear a lot, a lot of dresses during those two seasons. And so I needed a space that I could easily put my dresses without too much trouble. So that is why I opted to configure those two in that way, not to mention the fact that the um, long hanging unit has got some space at the bottom where I can store my boots without having to worry about folding them over or anything like that. So it's ended up being really, really great function. Um, the one thing I will say about the short hanging unit behind me is that it is missing a shelf and that's just because I miscounted my shelves when I went to go buy the unit and I just haven't had a chance to get back to Ikea to buy more shelves. The other thing to note is the little holes that the Ikea pack systems tend to have. 
I would highly, highly recommend that you get the little pegs that they sell to fill those little holes because it has made an immense difference. It was such a distraction, especially in this back display area to see all of those little holes. Now they're covered. You can't even see that they're there. Those things are absolutely necessary if you are getting yourself a pack system and those holes are just going to drive you nuts like me. I mean, it's just like, I was just like losing my mind until I put them on. Now, granted, I practically lost my mind and my thumb putting them in because you've got to put them in one by one and you press them in with your thumb. So your little thummy start to hurt after a while, but absolutely worth it. So the wild card for me in this pack system was the glass drawer. That drawer I put in 100% for aesthetic purposes. I, I had no idea what I was gonna use this drawer for. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm gonna use it for, but it looked really beautiful underneath the glass shelf with the jewelry storage and I needed something to fill that space because I didn't want to bring out another sliding tray for shoes. So I opted for the glass front drawer because hey why not you know it didn't cost that much more and I just really like the aesthetics of having the glass front drawer. For now it is holding my small bags and clutches. It's doing a very good job at that but I think that at, once I buy the little cubbies for my belts my belts are going to live in there possibly in addition to with the bags but i don't know i haven't figured it out yet it was just something that i bought because it was pretty <laughs> i know i know i actually really really love that drawer though don't get me wrong i'm glad that i got it i just need to figure out what i'm going to use it for so that is a tbd at the moment moving on to lighting the chandelier is the one thing that I absolutely 100% knew was coming in here way before anything else. I knew for sure that I wanted a chandelier. I've wanted a chandelier since I bought a home. That was when I was all like, yes, I finally get to get a chandelier. Well, 12 years later and I finally have my damn chandelier. I love this chandelier. It captures the glamour that I wanted to have, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on the light fixture. Uh, I decided to ask for it for Christmas and I didn't want to have to ask for a $500 light fixture from Pottery Barn. So I found this one on Wayfair and I am so, so pleased with it. It is much prettier than I even imagined. This particular chandelier does come as either a flush mount or a pendant. You can make the choice because they give you chain so that you can hang it as a pendant if you want. It doesn't give off a whole lot of light and as a content creator that's a little bit of a problem but you know what I don't care. I'm using my window and I've got some other lighting that I can use. This is just 100% purely aesthetic. I love the starburst pattern that it shines onto the ceiling and down the walls when the light is on. It just fills me with so much joy and it just really makes the room in my opinion. It is the pièce de résistance, so to speak, that just really sets the whole room off and I am just so very happy. And the wonderful thing about getting it on Wayfair is that, well, first of all, they've got like thousands of selections but in addition to that it was under $150 and I asked for it or made the decision that this is the one that I wanted I was a little nervous because I like to see things especially like this I like to be able to see them before I make the decision to buy because what if it looked really cheap well thankfully it didn't it looks really really beautiful it's in the gold finish i think they've got two other finishes in addition to that i will have everything that i can have linked in the description bar below by the way in case you're interested in getting any of these pieces for your home but it was such a bargain and it is really really beautiful it looks so much more expensive than it is and i just could not be happier it's just it's so 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 beautiful it is the shining jewel uh, of this room. 
I do have a couple of lamps that I've actually had in here for a while. Both of them are, well, one of them is thrifted and one of them was from a garage sale. The lamp shades we got from Target. They're just providing some extra lighting. In addition to that, I've got some cabinet lighting behind me. I'm not gonna go into great detail here at this moment uh, on that lighting. Just suffice it to say that I got it because I wanted to add some ambient lighting for shooting content. So that's really the purpose that it's serving but i'll talk about the lights here in just a moment i also am using natural light as much as i possibly can as a matter of fact my light is leaving me very quickly because we've got some inclement weather coming in um, but i do use the window that i've got in this room but i did have to put a curtain on that window beforehand i took all the curtains down that i had because they were blackout curtains and um i would change clothes in this room and I would have to hide in order to change the clothes. I would have to get out of line of sight, but man, can you imagine changing and the garbage truck rolls up. I would have to dash out of this room like the streaker because there was no place for me to hide in some situations. So I had to get some shears up. I was intending on using some Swiss dot shears that I got from Ikea several years ago when we bought some stuff um, for the house and it was still in its packaging and everything. We just had never used it. So I was gonna use Use those but when we were at Ikea sh buying the pack system we went to the curtains and you know just just to have a look and Angie saw these beautiful floral shears and she insisted that I get them for my room I was like I don't need curtains I already have curtains but she was very insistent that I get these curtains she said because they would look really really good with the wallpaper and just the general feel and vision that I had for the room and she was 100% right I absolutely love 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 these shears it was a good call on her behalf um, and I'm glad that I said yes because I am so so happy with these curtains I was becoming that neighbor you know that neighbor that was seeing everything that was going on with the other two neighbors that we have and I was starting to like keep track of their comings and goings and reporting what they did to the for the day it was such a distraction once I got the shears up, now I don't even see them coming and going and I could care less what the hell is going on out there with them. I am living my best life here in my room and they're not distracting me anymore. But with all of that said, they do filter the light beautifully and they offer me the privacy that I need for changing clothes and things like that. And now I don't have to patiently hide behind, you know, behind my clothing rack waiting for the garbage truck to roll away before I can come out and get dressed without fear of being seen naked. So that's awesome. <laughs> Amazon is so good for everything, especially when it comes to things for home or closet organization. First of all, I was hemming and hawing about whether or not I wanted to put backing on the IKEA pack system. The big unit has this ugly white seam that runs down the middle and it's just not very attractive, very distracting actually. And also I, on one of the narrow units, I accidentally put the backing on backwards so the raw orange side was to the front and the white is to the back and I just didn't feel like undoing that after having spent so much time assembling everything I was just like no and so it kind of forced my hand but I figured you know what I could put paper I could put the backing on that one but did I need to put the backing on the rest I even did an Instagram poll asking you guys if I should put the backing on and I got a resounding yes I should so I did and I'm really really super happy with it this is peel and stick wallpaper from Amazon it is uh, $12 a roll I think and it's like a really inexpensive solution to that ugly backing that the pack system has and I'm pretty happy I have no regrets for having put it up um, it really does make it stand out it gives it more of a custom feel and I really love the colorway because it kind of helps to tie all of the colors of the room together it's in a really beautiful pale purple with some pinks and greens it has this wonderful like almost like a botanical type 
print. I mean, maybe not quite. It's a little bit more uh, uh, ornate than that, but it's got birds, which I love, and it's got these beautiful leaves and stems and, and all of these lovely colors. It really brought the color, the color story together for this room in such a way, and I'm really, really pleased to have it. I really love having things that are feminine, yet not too girly. I didn't want to look like this was a little girl's room or like, you know, I just didn't want it to look so young, right? But I did want it to be feminine and romantic. And this wallpaper does that, I think, without being too over the top and too gaudy. I think it took four rolls total to cover the entire system that I have. It's very aesthetically pleasing and I really, really like it. So happy to have made that decision. The under lighting, as I mentioned uh, earlier, it is from Amazon as well. And I opted to go with this under lighting instead of the Ikea lighting system because assembling these units on my own was daunting enough and then having to figure out and mount all of the lighting and the wiring that goes with it. Not that it's hardwired. You have to kind of wire the lighting into itself and that's for all of the different lights that you are using and it's going to be wires and I had to drill holes and it was just going to be too much of a headache and I already had to contend with building this thing on my own. I did not want to have to deal with with that as well I would have run out of this room screaming and thrown myself down the stairs it was just not going to be pretty if I did that on my own so I went ahead and decided at that time I am not buying the IKEA system I will get something from Amazon and see how it pans out I have to say that I'm really really happy with it I only bought two lights by the way because I wasn't sure and then the purse display stands those things are one of the things that I knew I was going to be getting for this room from the get-go and I could not be happier with the ones that I found. First of all, the most important thing that I was looking for is I wanted the rod that holds the bag, I wanted it to be rounded. I did not want something that stood straight out like this because otherwise what would happen is that the bags were, would crimp, the handles would crimp and I don't want that. I wanted something that was rounded where the handles could just rest and I wouldn't have to worry about any kind of crimping and I finally found some that were in stock because they kept going out of stock the one, the original ones that I had in mind kept going in and out of stock like that I mean they were just they would come in stock and they'd go out of stock I found another uh, an alternative that's working just as well what I really really love about them is that they are adjustable in height so you can stagger the height of your bags this is really great for display or if you've got like a bag that doesn't sit easily um, this is a great alternative and I am so 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 happy I think of everything that I've bought for this dressing room those display stands were probably the best thing I could have gotten books are also from Amazon they were actually Christmas gifts and I've got them set up just like I like like you would coffee table books they're just a surface to put little vignettes on to kind of help to finish that little area and again it's all in the display area of my um, of my pack system The other furniture that I have in this room I've got my vanity that also serves as my desk and I have this round drum like nightstand table thing back behind me both of those were antiques and I do have a white surface on my vanity though because this being a, a like a 1950s 60s vanity it doesn't it didn't have a straight table across I, I had to put a surface on it because of course that also serves as my desk and so it's now e really easy for me to do both getting dressed you know putting my makeup on there and also doing all the editing and desk work that I have to do right there it gives me plenty of space I've got it tucked away into the corner for now but ultimately I would like to put it in the actual closet that is in this room it's just your standard narrow closet and I want to kind of tuck it away in there and that way hopefully it fits and I would be able to close the doors and it would be out of sight I've also got this lack shelf system here from Ikea that I bought a while back when I first started to kind of figure out what it is that I wanted to do with this room. This was a, back two or three years ago. Um, and it actually now is serving to hold the bags that don't match, that don't coordinate with the pack system, as well as my fragrances and some other stuff that I've just got, you know, that I don't have another place for at the moment. The little round drum is just holding some stuff for now. It does have storage underneath, you know, inside of it. And I've got just a bunch of 
stuff in there right now that I've got to sort through. These are things that I didn't know what to do with. Ultimately, with that little turn, with that little uh, table, though, I do want to put some gold paint in all of the um, in all of the um, molding and things that it has, and um, I will do that at some point. I just I haven't at the, I haven't yet. So that will be coming in, you know, a later phase. Which, by the way, brings me to the future phases for this room. Like I said, it's not 100% complete. There are a few more things that I have to do to complete phase one. Phase two is going to be to get an area rug for this room because I cannot stand this carpet. It is crimping because it was not installed properly and I don't know how to install a carpet so I have no idea how to fix it myself. So when you don't know what to do, you cover it, right? It's also gonna be able to camouflage all of the kitty cat stains and whatnot that happen in life. And so that is coming uh, in phase two. Also probably painting this little drum table, you know, this little drum nightstand thing with the gold. Um, that will also be part of phase two. Phase three is going to include finishing off all of the edging on the pack system, you know, between the units so that it looks custom. Also possibly installing some crown molding at the top. Again, to make it look more custom, more built in. It seems relatively easy to do. And by then I should have some help to help get it done and then also getting rid of the iron rack that you guys see um, that rack is actually uh, let's say it's a retail grade clothing rack that we got from a place called uline it's fantastic and it's really good and sturdy so i don't want to get rid of it but i do want to disassemble it and store it for future use at some point. Phases beyond um, will include potentially getting another narrow unit to put in this space behind me in the corner. I might get another unit if it fits, uh, but not right now. It will have to be um, in maybe 12 to 18 months from now. This room is everything that I want it to be. It has provided me so much joy and it will continue to provide me joy as I continue to finish and make it everything that I want it to be. I am so, so, so happy. I essentially have a she cave and I'm fine with that. I love, love, love my room. I spend so much time in this room it made sense for me to do this. And so I hope that you enjoyed this tour. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy fashion and style content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything here on my channel. Thank you as always for spending some time with me. I truly appreciate it. And also remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.